Hey guys, I'm Jay and today's knife was voted on Knife News for their 2018 Reader's Choice Awards Best New Value Folder. Let's see why. Now you should be looking at uh, the specs here and these are all measurements that I had personally taken myself so if you are interested go ahead and pause and read. I will also list these specs in the description so if you'd like to refer to them uh, during the video you can. This is the Civivi Backlash manufactured by Wii and we're going to look at what I like about this, some of the potential deal breakers, we're going to cut up some stuff and I'm even going to show you the insides. First let's take care of the size comparisons. Let's start out with a couple of spider codes. Of course, first the PM2 and the Manix 2. Here is the Benchmade 940. How about the Code 4 from Cold Steel? One of my all time favorite knives in the whole wide world, Viper Vox Fortis. And lastly, another. Civivi that I just recently reviewed, the Praxis. Starting out with the blade, you were looking at three and a half inch harpoon style in 9CR18 MOV blade steel. It is in fact hollow ground with a nice high polish satin finish. The blade thickness here is a very nice three millimeters, so this makes just an excellent slicer and 1.07 inches wide so from the spine to the sharpened edge and you may have noticed it'd be actually kind of hard to miss this is very large fully functional forward finger choil i love it i really do deployment is accomplished with just the flipper tab that you see here blades riding on a ball bearing pivot and that detent is very very strong I am unable to uh, to shake it loose so that means the action is fantastic because of the ball bearing pivot the strong detent it is very reliable I mean every time I push down the net flipper tab the blade is gonna fly out very difficult for me to get this to uh, to fail now it's not quite drop and shut just yet but it is breaking in rather quickly and you can see that yes for those of you that like to do that thumbnail closure where you let the tab flipper tab hit your nail shake it the rest of the way closed boop you are absolutely able to do that here once that blade is open you can see checking out those blue liners it locks up very early about uh 10 percent and when it is locked up Oh yeah, there is absolutely no movement in any direction. Access to that liner lock, very, very easy to get at. Centering is dead on. I mean dead on. There's going to be three areas of jimping on the flipper tab, blade spine, and the last one is going to be on the uh, liner lock itself. Now let's move on down to the handle, which is 4.3 six inches in length and it is a little over a, a half inch thick but not by much just 0.51 this green is in fact uh, g10 and you can see i can fit all of my fingers with my medium sized hand no problem whatsoever very very comfortable grip fit and finish is just fantastic i mean there's no sharp edges anywhere and i mean anywhere on this knife the traction that that g10 provides is very good and of course that flipper tab is going to also make sure that your hand does not uh, slip forward grip very comfortable and check out that uh, that cut out there which gives it it the blade its harpoon kind of shape is fully jimped and that jimping feels really good and then couple that with choking up here by using the forward choil and you're able to do some really fine detail work if you need to now the backlash does come with a deep carry pocket clip that is going to be a tip up only but that is for righties and look at that yep it's for lefties as well 
0.29 inches is the closed width so that's how much room it's going to take up in your pocket and the widest section that was measured is actually going to be towards the middle of your pocket uh, usually it's kind of nice to see it down towards the bottom of your pocket but not here now before i go ahead and toss this up on the scale i just wanted to go ahead and show you here that it is for the most part open construction with just that uh, very short backspacer and those blue liners both of them have been milled out in an effort to uh, reduce the weight let's see how they did and they did very very well four ounces very nice that's going to be roughly the equivalent of one two three four five about five double a batteries or almost the same exact weight as the cold steel code 4. now as i mentioned earlier i have previously reviewed the civivi praxis if at the end of this video you go ahead and look up to the corner you can see that icon there if you click on it it will take you to the video and you can watch my full review hey you looking for night reviews that get right to the point click on subscribe that's exactly what i do here and if you enjoyed this video and you got any value from it how about a thumbs up thanks guys potential deal breaker number one is going to be regarding its availability or i should say lack thereof yeah the the backlash is very difficult for some reason to find although as of this recording i noticed that blighty hq has these back in stock all of the colors so i would suggest you get there next is going to be regarding the forward finger choil and i mean i'm a big fan of the forward choils to to begin with but i have heard and read some complaints regarding the size of it and the fact that it st is stealing away quite a bit of sharpened edge and yeah that's true because the i measured just the edge 3.125 inches on a three and a half inch blade so yeah that's a lot of uh, material that's been removed now if we take a quick look at the internals you can see the skeletonization going on on yes both scales and they really removed a lot of material to lighten this up shows that they really do care about this design there's the ball bearing pivot it's going to be just the two uh, body screws and of course the pivot screw and you do not have to remove the pocket clip to open this up you are going to need a torx number eight and that is for all of the screws though so all the screws take a t8 i like that the backlash definitely goes on my list of easiest knives to disassemble i mean really it took me probably about all of 60 seconds to get this apart now if you are not completely in love with the uh, the green g10 that's okay because uh, we slash civivi has you covered they offer this in uh, a few other different uh, scale colors but for 42 bucks, you can get yourself one heck of a slicer. I mean, it just, look at that, through the cardboard. Oh, I gotta show you this. I love, I love cutting up these envelopes from Amazon. I don't know why, but it like just goes in Yeah, sometimes I've noticed it does kind of get hung up on the uh, the finger choil if you're not careful. But as long as you pay attention, look at that. No trouble at all. Just, gosh, is this such a good slicer. 42 bucks. Thank you so much, We, for offering this at a fantastic price. And... I got to come clean with you guys. I got to be honest. I am not a huge fan of the harpoon blade shapes. Now, this one, granted, it is it's it is subtle in comparison to something like I don't know, like the Bestec uh, Warwolf. 
but I can overlook that because everything else on this knife is so well done. I mean, the, the action, the comfort, the traction, I mean, the grip is just fantastic, and you see how well that this thing just glides through material. So I would say, yeah, I mean, if you can find these in stock, oh yeah, you gotta go get one. I mean, this is, look at that. Very little effort being exerted on my part. Now, those of you that stuck around until the end, first off, thank you, but Man, are you going to be rewarded? Here's what I want to do. Since I have, I've spoken with many, many uh, subscribers, viewers, uh, who have been experiencing the same problem about the uh, availability, not being able to purchase the backlash. Since this can be difficult to find in stock, I want to give this away. Yeah. So here's all I need you to do. In the comments section, all you have to do is just tell me what was your very first pocket knife, so your very first folder, you know, just just the name of it. I mean, if you want to go into the story about where you got it, how long you had it, that's great. I mean, I'm always, I'll be there to listen, but I just need the name of your very first pocket knife. You will be entered into the drawing to win this, this Civivi Backlash. Now, of course, there's going to be some uh, restrictions. Number one, you must be a subscriber. Number two, of course, is leaving the name of your first pocket knife in the comment section. And what I will do, two weeks from today, we will do the drawing. So that will be Janu Wednesday, January 30th. I will pick all of the qualifying names and... You could win this. I don't care where you live, in the country, out of the country. It doesn't matter to me. I don't like excluding certain people. And you know what? To be honest, if I could give you all of you guys, I would love to give everybody a knife. But this is what I can do. So it's what I'm offering. So you guys, good luck. Thanks for watching.